Hey guys, welcome back to The Average. Today I'm going to be doing the coffee drawing painting challenge where you paint an image with coffee. And obviously we all know, I mean, if you've been around on this channel for a while, that I love coffee, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. Pesto is also here with me. She was my disc buddy for this, so I thought I'd set up a little pesto cam for you guys as well to see how much she liked the coffee challenge as well. I started out by drawing an image of these girls who are the character designs I created for my slime video. And guess what guys, these girls were created and inspired by slime. I know that sounds pretty dumb, but I had a lot of fun with that video and I was inspired by the different colors of the slime. So if you haven't seen that, then go check that out because the end illustration is pretty cool, I think, anyway. This story kind of follows on from when they see this creature in the river and maybe they've caught her or they've caught some of the slime that she's left behind and the nerdy girl, she's kind of examining it thinking, hey, we should take this home and experiment on this. And the pink girl is like, what are you doing? This is craziness. Don't take this home. And But she's also quite intrigued and they're sort of buddying up because originally in my head they're not really friends but they become closer because of this. Whereas the other girl, she was playing her switch, minding her own business when all this stuff went down. I don't know, they had a fight with the slime monster and they scared it off and now they have powers but she got totally splashed by the river and stuff so she's not too impressed by the whole situation. I think she probably blames the other girls a little bit and the fact that they're consumed by whatever is in the jar. She's like, ahem, I've been soaked and possibly my switch is broken but yeah, that's... <laughs> That's the story of these girls. I'm definitely going to draw them again. I really like their unique characterizations and drawing them as well. And I want to see like more illustrations, what I can do with them. Maybe I can make this like a challenge type of thing where whenever I do a challenge video, I draw them and the next scene that they're in. I don't really know where the story's headed with them, but I think they gained powers somehow through this experience and maybe they can turn themselves into slime now or something relevant to the slime inspiration. But anyway, let's talk about the painting with coffee. First off, I've already said this before, but I have this really cheap watercolor paper and I used it for this one, which I kind of regret because obviously coffee is such a strange medium to me to use for painting so I should have used quite good watercolor paper because this paper can't hold the water very well and it left I don't know if it's the coffee or the paper so much but it left really bad like textures and not not very smooth gradients and stuff and I usually like texture in my paintings but some of these were just a bit too rough I think overall it gave quite a nice quality to it I like the sepia tones to it and I think it really works quite nicely with these characters in pencil. For a long time during this process I was like this is this is not going well like how does anybody paint with coffee and does it well? I couldn't really get a darker tone than this so I kept layering the coffee and waiting for layers to dry. Luckily Pesto was by my side so she gave me a little distraction whilst I waited patiently because I'm such an impatient person for the layers to dry. Once they did dry I just started trying to put more and more dark um, coffee colour or the darkest that I could get it onto the paper so it would look darker than it is. I also gave them some ground <laughs> to stand on because I didn't want to do the background because I think it looks nice just a white background and you can imagine them maybe they're returning from their field trip and they're in the city or they're just walking to the bus to leave the the river area this story probably makes no sense to people who haven't watched the slime video i'm sorry if you haven't and you're watching this but there's a whole thing so i probably name that one like chapter one this one chapter two kind of story about these girls i do want to do more work with them because i think they have such a nice dynamic as well and it's kind of interesting they're all in school and i like their outfits and their different personalities it's fun to play with that like the pink girl has her skirt rolled up because she doesn't care but the nerdy girl is like very smart and put together and the geeky girl who you know likes to switch and stuff her t-shirt is actually like that tie is printed on and different little things that were just fun.
I'm just going over this with a 4B pencil because I wanted to give the lines more definition because as I went over with the coffee, the old pencil marks kind of smudged and faded. I know it's painting with coffee challenge, but considering I already used pencil, I didn't think this was such a big um, rule breaking technique. So I just went over with the pencil just to give more definition to the characters and make them pop out. And overall, I really enjoyed this actually. I thought I wasn't going to. I kind of did it just because I wanted to try it and I thought like, oh there's no way I'm gonna get like good results but I actually really like this illustration and I really like the sepia tones of it so there you go I would definitely try this again but I don't really have much more to say about this illustration so I will meet you at the end of this video So here is the final illustration and like I said already I do really like the way that it turned out. You guys let me know what you think though. Do you like the story of these girls and would you like to see more of them? Please like and subscribe for more content and I will see you next time guys. Oh by the way my kickstarter is still up and running so there's still a chance to grab your copy of Emily is Burning and if you would like your own copy then all the links are down below. Thanks and bye.